All right, welcome back to Games Here, everybody. I'm your host, Matt, playing some more Banjo-Kazooie. So we got half the notes and four jiggies. So let's look for jiggy number five. There's this step pyramid here. Kind of, uh... <clears throat> oh! Okay, I see what it is. Yeah, so there's... Okay, well... All right, so there's a step pyramid here, and there's a switch that I can step on, and I can go, like, zigzag up the pyramid. And I can, uh, I have to go through a door at the top, so... I am... gonna wait for that time to run out, because there is no way I'm gonna be able to beat that now. And I'm gonna get some running shoes, and do it. I was gonna say, Grunty's race you cannot beat, until you find some faster feet. Well, found some. I don't want to see the animation, that takes time off. Alright, there's some music notes here, but I'm going to focus on getting to the top of this pyramid first before I uh, even think about that. Oof! This is going to be rough. Oh, no, 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 no! I was literally standing on the trap door. Okay. So the trapdoor closed, uh, right, literally right underneath my feet. So I'm gonna get these music notes, and I'm gonna do that again. I'm talon trotting down this pyramid because it's slightly faster. Music is uh, addicting. Grant Kirkhope can really write some catchy tunes. Alright, let's do it again. I don't care about watching the cutscene. If that cutscene wasn't there, this would be super easy. But I have to watch the cutscene of the trapdoor opening, and that actually takes a few seconds off. Uh, as good as this game is, and as solid as it was when it came out, there are still elements of bad game design. One of them is how a cutscene can cut down on your uh, runtime. No! Alright, I'm gonna have to do it again. This is probably the hardest uh, part of this, uh, of this world right here. Alright, I'm gonna try a new tactic. There we go, I'm in. Alright, good. I jumped, cutting some corners. Alright, so the pyramid I'm in now is completely full of uh, water. So I think... Oh, there's a jiggy right here. Alright, so getting the jiggy opened up the bottom uh, door of the pyramid. Now it's draining all the water into a moat outside. Alright, so now let's get the rest of the notes and eggs and feathers in here. There's some mummies in here too, but I don't really care about those. I can defeat them if I want to, but I don't care. Just as long as I get all the notes. I'm good. I think that's all of them. And there's a, a bunch of rock shaped like a face in here, but that doesn't do anything. It's not part of a puzzle. It just looks funny. Alright, so let's go toward this moat. There's some music notes here. I'm just gonna go across the edge of this moat and grab them. Oh, camera's messing up on me. Alright. Ha 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 ha! 
Alright, a couple more music notes and I'll have them all. Alright, so that's three quarters of the notes, I think. I think there's stuff down underneath this moat. Yeah, there's some music notes here. I saw a mumbo skull back there. I'm going to complete one full circuit around here and I should be good. left to go. So let's take a look at this area. So there's a moat right here. There are some platforms I can stand on. And there's a pedestal in the center of the moat. But there's no pyramid. There's a puzzle here. Let's see what we got. beetle here. Alright, so on one side of this area there's a, um, or yeah, next to one of these pedestals on the boat there's one of those uh, sphinx heads. I just have to shoot an egg into its mouth. Oh, a couple eggs into its mouth. There it goes. And it's disappearing. Oh, a little bit of a pyramid is exposed now on the pedestal. And now there's another, um, Sphinx head around the other side of the moat. It looks like there's three Sphinx heads I have to contend with, and they move whenever I try to shoot eggs in their mouth, but it's really not that bad. I just have to... I just have to kind of lead it a bit. There we go. Okay, a little more of the pyramid. And then there's one more Sphinx head. Loving it. Ooh. Ooh, this pedestal is real small. Oh, I fell off of it again. Alright. There we go. Got him. Alright, looks like the rest of the pyramid is exposed. And there's a door. So I just need to go inside. This puzzle is not that bad, but still can be kind of bad. Let's just go in. You guys will see what it is in a little bit. This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. So there's a maze in front of me, and on top is a ceiling of spikes. So basically I have to go through the maze before the time runs out because then I'll get crushed by the spikes. So let's do the Talon Trot. You chose not to heed our warning. Prepare to run. So... Ooh. So I have a minute to get through this maze. I vaguely remember how to get through it, but let me... Remember if there are music notes or anything to find in here either. I mean, I can always come back in later. Well, I see the exit. Oh yeah, there's a grunty switch. I need to go back in. Alright, so he says he's after the king's ancient treasure. There's Jinjo in here. So there's a sarcophagus with um, a jiggy in it. And a mumbo skull. But yeah, I do need to go back in. But that is number six. Alright. So I'm out the back side of the pyramid now, but I'm gonna head back in and get that grunty switch. 
that should be the last thing in here, but now that I know how to get to the exit relatively quickly, because yeah, it, it'll start up again. So let's stop on this Gorgy switch. Alright, so a sur uh, sarcophagus opened up back in Grunty's lair and it's got a jiggy in it. See, the timer stopped for that cutscene. Ugh, whatever. Let's see if there's anything else in here that I need before I go through the exit. It doesn't look like it. Alright, I'm getting out of here. See what's around this corner. Red feathers. So yeah, nothing I need in here. Let's get out. Oh no! Took a wrong turn. Okay, I'm out. Oh no! I was like right at the edge. Oh well, whatever. Well, I died. Dang, do I have to get all I have to get all the notes all over again? I'll do that off camera. Let's just get the rest of the jiggies. Alright, so there's a pyramid over here. So let's see what we got. So I just need to butt stomp and switch on the top of this pyramid and it opens up. Oh my god, the cutscene. Anyway, I guess I have to get the Jinjos all over again too. Oh well, I'll do all that off camera. Alright. I'll just get music notes as they come. Alright, so the pyramid I'm in now, let's get that mumbo skull first. Alright, so it's got tiles on the floor. It's a 4x4 grid. I just have to do matching, so I butt, butt stomp on them. And I have to get the same thing. So this one is a music note, kazooie, a feather, mumbo, an egg. Oh, a music note, so that first one was a music note. I'll do this one. Alright, a feather. A feather. A banjo. A honeycomb. Mumbo, so I can get Mumbo up here. Oh no, that was an egg. This one's Mumbo. Banjo. Banjo. Egg, egg, a Jinjo, a Jinjo, yay, a honeycomb, a honeycomb, Kazooie, and Kazooie, there we go, I did all the matching. So let's get that uh, jiggy. Alright, so that's number seven. So three more, not half bad. All right, let's see what else is here. Ooh, there's a switch that looks like a honeycomb. All right, so there's a honeycomb piece inside of a cactus. And I can do that and work my way to some more extra uh, life. But let's get those last couple of jiggies, shall we? There's a big one that I know I'm missing. 
well actually two more that I know I'm missing. I know what I'm supposed to do, I just don't remember where I'm supposed to go to get it. Let me go to the top of this pyramid and kind of have a little look around. Ah, yes, that's right. I have to ride this flying carpet again. So, oh, here it is. I'll get all the notes later. I'm just going to focus on getting jiggies for now. Oh yeah, now I need to take these waiting boots somewhere, I think. You know, I'm, I'm just gonna fly. Because I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go, so I'm just gonna fly around until I can see where I need to go. Ah, there it is, way over there on the edge. That's why I didn't see it. It's like right on the edge of the map, but I'm gonna grab this honeycomb piece first. So there's a little island in the middle of the sand. That's where I need to go. Yep, so there's a little island and there's a camel tied to a uh, to a rock here. Let's see what he says. Oh, it's too hot for Gobi. I need some shade. Please help me. Alright, so let's stop on this. And he got me a jiggy. Here's your reward, bear. Gopi's off to cool down. Alright. Um, let's see, I can ride this carpet back. Or not, because it just left. Oof. I'm gonna get a couple of these red feathers while I'm here. It disappeared when I tried to stand on it, and then it reappeared later. <clears throat> Alright, wait for it to disappear. Alright, now wait for it to reappear. Here we go. Alright. So, now let's head back near the start of the world. Alright, so now Gobi is here at the oasis with that tree. This tree looks a bit thirsty, but I need all my water for myself. Ah, uh, nope, I'm gonna stand on your hump and butt stomp you. Alright, and he's, he's spitting the water into the tree's mouth. Ah, uh, lovely water, Trunker feels great. And he's growing. And he's got a uh, jiggy on top of him now, so I just need to get to it. Let me climb one of these other trees and kind of flip flap over there. There we go. Alright, so that's jiggy number nine. The last one is the Jinjos, and I gotta get all the notes. You know, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna do that off camera. You guys have seen enough of this world, and then I'll get uh, Grunty's. Um, jiggy off camera as well so yeah all right i'll see you guys next time when i tackle the next world